All right, we're back at the Nine Club. Today, well, we got a special guest. Gino Iannucci is here. Thanks for coming, dude. No problem. Yeah. You're welcome. All the way from New York, man. We flew you in just for this. <laughs> I and, appreciate uh, it. <laughs> you know? We had to use those, uh, those miles somehow. Yeah. Raj's miles. <laughs> yeah. Now, well, speaking of Raj, we got Raj over to Gino's right, and over to my right, we got uh, Kelly Hart over there. Hey, guys. Uh, Kelly, if you notice, he's uh, got a bowl of potatoes in front of him, and... Uh, well, he's going to do the wheat berry challenge yep. on this episode. Uh, I cha- last episode, 2016 wrap up special. I uh, challenged Kelly to do the wheat berry challenge. To carve, he has to carve a potato into a wheel and try to sell it. This is what wheat berry did. And if he doesn't sell it, he's got to eat a cinnabon. It's weird because I've never even carved a potato before. Well, good luck. I think you can do it. You, we'll check in on you from time to time. All right, we'll thanks, see bro. how you. We'll see how you're doing. I'll see what I can do, Gino. Mm-hmm. How's everything, dude? Everything's, Everything's good. All right. Yeah. Everything's so you out here? Pathetic. Are you out here just to get get out of the the cold, brisk winter in New York? I, I guess you can say that. Yeah. yeah. The problem is, is it's been freezing here. It's been yeah. fucking cold we as shit and raining. That. Yeah. Mid fifties yeah, freezing. Days. God, I, yo. If it's sixty five, I put on a sweater. Yeah, I right. mean, if it's sixties or if it's in the fifties or sixties out here. People are freezing, but yeah. if it's the East Coast and it's fifties or sixties, guys are in their in their sandals and their shorts and stuff. <laughs> so yeah. it's, but it's, it's so it's strange. I'm always bundled up, even if it's midsummer. Yeah, I got like two, always rocking a long sleeve. Yeah, I've got long. I've got a sweater and a jacket on. I'm not even sure what it's doing out east right now. No, I'm not sure if they have snow or. It's probably nice out. <laughs> so I've been out here for like five weeks, so I'm not five really weeks. sure. Yeah. Okay, but so have you been enjoying uh, enjoying the the Cali? Uh, of course, of yeah. course. I haven't been here in a while, right. and um. Unexpectedly, I'm actually enjoying it. Skating, I like it out here now. Skating a bunch out here, or what do you? Uh, a little bit I'm here? getting into it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. I've been out off it for a while now. Stoner, maybe you hit up Stoner Park. And, yeah, uh, I've been to, been to Stoner a couple yeah. of times since I've yeah, been yeah. back here. Yeah. Or we're go, going to Beebles or something, maybe. No, oh, you've been to Beebles yet? Uh, uh, guy? Guys, yeah. yeah. Guys Park, you mm-hmm. know. Let's all stop and look at Guy right now. Well, Guy's <laughs> sitting right here. Yeah, so it's you know, hard so not to look in that direction. Know. And it's funny because Guy owns the park also. Did you ever, did you ever uh, get mad that it was called Beeble's Park and not like Guy's Park? No. No, okay. okay. You can go to the bubble, uh, button if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when you're you know, sitting right here and it's called Beeble's Park, then... What, what is that numbers board? This house is very <laughs> steep. <laughs> what guys, guy's not even... Guy throws up his numbers board in the yeah. background. <laughs> Unbelievable. Huh? So, okay, so growing up in New York, right? Mm-hmm. New, Long Island? Long Island. Long yeah. Island. Yeah. Okay, but so that's a little bit outside. The city guys might get a little, I don't know, pissed off if really? I claim New York because, uh, you know, Long Island and the city are two different places. So. Okay, so how New York far? State. New, York New York State. State. New York exactly. State. Yeah. So, like, Long Island, Seattle, I don't know. I'm not ge- geography, but so how long? How far is, like, Long Island to, like, well, Long Manhattan Island? or something? To Manhattan, I mean, from where I am, it's about a 40-minute train ride. Oh. Or a 30-minute car okay. ride. Yeah. That's like But, a... I mean, Long Island is, like, attached to Queens. It's, like, a part of Queens. And then, okay. you know, Queens right. to Manhattan is pretty close. So. But Queens, I feel like people claim New York, right? It's like New York. Yeah, Queens, we all claim like... New York. But, yeah, okay. you know, if, say, back in the day when I... Uh, if I was to come out with an ad and it said New York City, it was I didn't really? feel comfortable with that because okay. I'm not from the city. You know? Interesting. And yeah. the guys from the city used to kind of hate on people from Long Island. So, really? Oh, you're from Long Island, like the girls with the scrunchies you and get, stuff like that. <laughs> oh, shit. You know? Okay. Did you get a uh, heat from like when you uh, your first black label board with the I Love New York? No, I don't remember getting heat for that. Well, that how, how, what? what I, are you, I remember how, feeling a little uncomfortable about it because yeah. that's, that's was that like, like a New York City? City? Yeah, it was. Yeah. <clears throat> how, so how, how old were you when you got a, a board on Black Label? I think I was around 20. Uh-huh. Well, most importantly, how did you get on Black Label? Was that your first board sponsor? <laughs> or was that... What, what? I'm sorry, I'm just like... <laughs> what, what like is, you interviewing me right now? I know, I know. I've known this No, it's guy good, forever, it's good. I like you, know? you and, uh, you know, you doing your thing right now. Well, it's, it's funny cool. because, you know what, he... Uh, uh, we, you know, we, we what, spent, have never liked this in the van, like on chocolate tours? No, no, no it's no. just, yeah. you know, going from being fellow skaters and stuff, being from the same company and then like... Like, yeah. so Gino um, I, <laughs> I love it I love it well we we spent time together in uh, Milan we were staying with yeah. Federico we, mm-hmm. how, was we that, spent like, the summer two three months yeah. yeah three months Gino would wake up at like 6 a.m. and go skate the train station yeah. and I would wake up at like you know noon or two? one yeah. yeah two okay two and uh, I'd go down, and he'd already be done skating. And so I'd be, we had the, we, we we were staying together, but we had like different schedules. Yeah. It was yeah. hilarious. I think you still have the same schedule. Yeah, I do. 
You were the evening skater. I was the morning skater. So yeah, but you'd stick around for a little bit, you know. Yeah, it was, it was fun. Like it lasts that long. Well, Feds was on like double shifts. He was like, he would go and film Gino, and then he'd go and film me. Like it was a whole yeah. yeah. I don't think I, I, I yeah I barely saw you out there the whole time. Yeah, I don't <laughs> <That's> remember <weird>. you. <laughs> Come to think of it, yeah. yeah. But uh, okay, it was so rough though. It was fucking hot with the with, was, the, with the mosquitoes. Oh and, my god, uh, that's right. It was painful remember, trying to sleep his, there. His air conditioning broke at one point. Yeah, remember? and it I was, always uh, wondered why isn't this guy getting his AC fixed? It <laughs> broke like the first day we were there. Right. And it was yeah. fucking bleeding hot the whole summer with right. the mosquitoes. He was hoping you guys would all pony up. Sorry, feds. Yeah, no, no. Hate to yeah. blow you up. I think we blew him up plenty of times over there. <laughs> But uh, okay, so going back to the Black Label, how was that your bo- first board sponsor, Black it, Label? Um, yeah, it was. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so how yeah. did you? How did that come about, though? Were you uh, sponsor me tapes? Sponsor me yeah, tape. sending yeah. videos. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. How many I videos did you send him before you got on? Um, I think it was my first one. I sent to him, and then he called me up and just said, "Keep sending me tapes, and I'll keep sending you boards." And that's then right. that's how it went for a while. Wow, sick. But, yeah. That's a great first company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black was sick back. It was like, I just wasn't picky at all. I just sent tapes to like. Oh, I, Lucero was a big pro, so I knew okay. him, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'll send it to Lucero." Back then, Cardio was on too, right? Yeah, he was on. I can't remember if he got on after or, or if he was already on. But um, I don't think I ever met him or anything like that. He was up north. How old were you when you first uh, got sponsored? Basically, yeah. Um, from Black Label. Yeah, I think. Maybe like 16 or 17. So do, were you sending out sponsor me tapes like a bunch of people? I did. They... I sent one to like Going. Oh. I got on Going. Okay. And I think I, I honestly think I sent a video to Jimmy Z. Oh, wow. Really? Wait, wait. Is that the name of like a, like a clothing yeah, company? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, they're actually yeah. still around. I think so too. Yeah. 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 I think I sent a tape to them. They never responded. Hmm. Um, and that's it. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Because like... Once Lucero hooked me up, I was I was done. So how long did how long were you on Black Label? Did you, you turned pro for them? Right? Yeah, it wasn't that long. I don't think after really? I turned pro that I left for World or One Hundred One. Oh, but, um, that's right. Well, I mean, I was about wow. sixteen, seventeen when I got on, yeah. and then uh, I got my board. I believe I was around twenty, and okay. I remember because I remember feeling old at twenty right. to get how a board. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know why. Right. I don't know why, but. Huh. Uh, I mean, I guess because guys were retiring when they were twenty five back yeah. then. So yeah, not me, man. <laughs> not me either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to say my age right now. But shit, you're 18, right? <laughs> yeah. But uh, okay, so the, you turned pro, pro for Black Label. What? How? How did the 101 thing come about? You just uh, did somebody? Um, did you know those guys? I mean, you were skating in New York with all the dudes, right? All uh, at that Huff and and, yeah. and Keenan and mm-hmm. um, who else was out there at that time? Uh, oh man, Chris Keefe, Jones Keefe, okay. Ben Liversedge. Oh, um, wow. A lot of guys, yeah. uh, Rick Pham, Eric Rossetti. Oh, yeah. um, that was like my best friend growing up. We oh, skated yeah. together all the time. And uh, Mike Hernandez. Uh, That's a yeah. crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you would take the train from Long Island? I'd take the train from Long Island to the city, like right. link up around Keith's house, hook mm-hmm. up with Keith, Keenan, Chris, Ben. Um, and then they'd come to Long Island, stay with me, stay with my friend Ray, who lived okay. like not too far from me in Long Island. Wow. And that's how it went. Like, Ray from Healthy? Yeah. I know we're jumping all over the place, but in New York, was there a, uh, like a spot you guys would just kick it out all day and like skate or was it mainly like go around the city? It was kind of cruise around the city. Cruise like I was never a, like a Washington Square dude. Yeah. Like I never hung out banks. there. Brooklyn Banks, right? The Banks, yeah. yeah. But not, that was when I first started going into the city. The Banks were big and we'd go there first. Like we'd take the train to the mm-hmm. subway, get off at Chambers, skate like to the, the Banks. Spot. What's that? Like the meetup spot? Kind of, yeah. But like I, that was kind of before I knew Huff and Keenan and them because I'd just take the train from Long Island. I wouldn't stay in the city and we'd just go to the Banks and skate. Oh. Once I started uh, skating with Huff and Keenan and um, Mike... Uh, um, we would just like kind of meet up like around Huff's house, like I said, like Windsor Court, and then just cruise around the city, and then just crash at Huff's house. And um, but there was never like a spot, like Union Square, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's that's about it. I never spent that much time out in New York. It's fun. It's a great city. Yeah. It's I mean, fun to skate. amazing to skate. Yeah. 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 Okay. So going back to the the one hundred and one days, right? Mm-hmm. So how did you uh, how did you hook up with the one hundred and one dudes? I mean, how like from Black Label to one hundred and one, and did Nas call you? How did they go down? Like Jason and Jeremy Ray, I used to skate with those two all the time. Okay, J- Jason, Jeremy, and Jonas. Oh, and well, Jonas and uh, Jason wrote for Black Label as well. Yeah, Jonas was on Black Label. Jason, um, but. I think Jason, I don't remember how he left Black Label. I don't know what happened, but he was going to start a company 
or skate for a company that was supposed to start um, with Jeremy and this guy, Dave Sloshbach, who I'm not sure if I even pronounce his name right, Got but it. he did the Quiet Storm video oh, yeah. and uh, Turn the Other Cheek. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, they were supposed to do a new company with Markovich and Brian Lottie, and, uh, and I was skating with them a lot at the time, so I was kind of getting in the mix with them. Okay, yeah. And I don't know why I wanted to leave Black Label. I mean, I think it's just because I skated with those guys so much. I just like, naturally, you know, wanted to kind of move, move with them. Right. You know? That fell through. And uh, Brian Lottie took off. I don't know where he went. Hmm. And then Dave, at the time, was filming me and Jason a lot. And we had a lot of footage okay. that ended up being in the snuff video. And he just presented it to Nottis because at that time, all the guys from World left. Right. Oh. And started Girl and Chocolate right. or Girl. So Dave was like, All right, what do you think about one oh one and Nottis? I was like, Of course, fucking Nottis. So um he gave him the footage and then I'm not sure if he called me or or I'm trying to think right now. Hmm. I'm kinda of getting stuck, but um I do remember him calling me and telling me like, oh, you should call up Eric and skate with him. I guess this is before, the, right before they left. I'm kind of jumping around. What, who's that, Eric? Like, Pupacki? Oh, Kostin. Kostin. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So it must have been before, right, or it was right, right around the time when they, they were, were about to leave. leave something like that. Okay, and, right. Uh, and I ended up calling Eric and I didn't know Eric. I, no. I, I didn't know him from a hole in the wall. And like, I mean, of course I knew him, but um, we've never met. And it was like fucking embarrassing, but I was like, <laughs> fuck it, I'll do it. You want, Nadis wants me to do it, I'll do you yeah. know, anything, whatever. So I called him and then we were supposed to meet up and we never did and whatever. They left, they all went to girl and then we were on 101. So you were on 101 after everybody left. Yeah, we were the replacements. The re <laughs> replacements. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Really? really? Yeah. Did it really? Totally, yeah. Huh. Okay. But still, um, I mean, still, we're still happy to be there. Happy to be there. Yeah, right, right. you definitely. left a mark there, dude. But you, so you were on 101 though for a long time though. Maybe two, it three years. Like maybe. It. I mean, two, three years back then felt yeah, like forever. That's but true. you know, that's compared true. to 16 years on chocolate, I mean, I'm going on more than that. I <laughs> yeah. think. Uh, yeah. How many years is it for you I now? Don't even remember, dude. It's. Uh, I'm so bad with time frames and yeah, it's hard. Years it's and hard. dates. Um. So the 101, it was good. You were the replacements. And, uh, <laughs> kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, it felt yeah. like. I mean, all these guys broke out and were doing, you know, the girl thing. And right. Now we're on 101. Right. The backup. But you guys, what, what video was that that you guys did? Uh, 20 Shot? 20 Shot. Yeah. I mean, pff, it's a great video. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was, was awesome. amazing. Was it just 101? And it was all the companies, right? No, it was right? yeah. everyone in that, that camp. Yeah. Everyone in the mm -hmm. Dwindle a world, camp. It was the, the, the world camp. World, world camp. camp. Yeah. 101. Was Prime there uh, during 20 yeah. Shot or maybe yeah. Trilogy? Yeah, I think it was. But they weren't in the yeah. 20 Shot sequence, were they? Was Prime? They had a section. Did they? Yeah, I think they had a little section. Prime was yeah. at the red huh. step shallow, that whole thing. Yeah, I, I like, was never... I, I liked Prime. I wasn't a big... I wasn't like a huge fan of Prime. <laughs> You know, why, why are you looking at me like that guy? <laughs> no, it's just I, I was more of a fan of like 101 and Blind. Because they were you know. kind of the original world under the umbrella. Yeah. yeah. And Prime kind of came along and. I just doesn't. It I just never, didn't fit. It, never fit. it was never, Color Part right 2, pretty much. Not well, hating on anybody, no, but it just didn't fit. Never you know? hating on anybody. But it's just my, my own personal. I, I just wasn't. Back you know. then, like, you guys had a lot of control over who got on uh, the other teams, too, didn't you? Like, if someone wanted to get on Prime, they'd be like, hey, what do you guys think? Uh, I don't remember if it was like that. Really? Yeah. The 20-shot sequence did great, though, I thought. I thought it was a great video. Um, you guys all killed it. I um, think so. I think yeah. it was good. I think everybody just kind of did their thing. And right, the right. Short little parts. And Did you guys know you were filming for that or just out filming? And then all of a sudden, I, they're like, we got a video. I think we did know that we were filming for a video, but um, I feel like not I'll, sure, like, what it was going to be like or... Yeah. Yeah. We just kind of filmed and knew that we were doing something, like right, putting right. out something soon. Exactly. I, f I feel like most of your footage though was like L.A. stuff too, right? Was it like Lockwood and a bunch uh, of the yeah, because yeah. double set. Yeah, that's when I kind of first moved up to L.A. from Huntington after the you know Black Label and everything. And oh, so you were in Huntington during the Black yeah, Label? You yeah, moved down I moved from, from New York, New York to Huntington Beach. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh wow. Because that's where Label was, yeah. and that's where Dill was. That's where Jeremy oh. was. Jeremy was in like La Habra, which okay. is not far from Huntington. Right. Everything that I knew of was Huntington so right. I went right there what yeah. is that a big move for you to move from it New was York yeah to, I mean did you come out here solo or I mean you knew people no, out me, here but no I didn't uh, me and uh, my friend Ben Liversedge oh yeah we drove out what's, oh, wow. what's Ben doing now I have no idea really? I think he's in Vermont he just like disappeared I know he's like the only 
guy I know that's like just MIA. What like a, nobody knows where he is. What a rad what, what he's doing. Man, yeah. He was yeah. he is killing it. Yeah. I, I was always a fan of Can't that. Can't look at a coach's jacket without thinking about him. You coach? know it's yeah. funny, you just said that. That's the first thing I was thinking about when I mentioned his name, that blue coach's jacket. Yeah. That's like the first time I even seen him skate, he was wearing one of those back in the day at this one park, Doctor Bikes in Long Island. Oh. Anyway, let's talk about Dr. Bikes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How's it going over there, Kelly? Are you, car- are you carving away? I mean, this is my first time dealing with potatoes, dude. I don't fucking okay. know. I got Gino Iannucci here on the show. I'm carving potatoes. Well, you know? yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like you're, it's almost like Kelly's punishment, you know? Damn. I don't know what, be, what he's what being punished. I, what I get punished? I don't know. But, you know, it's, it's, you know. I'm just actually, I'm like really stoked just to listen to the story. All you guys talk, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, feel yeah. free to chime in. You know, you know. You, I'll say you've something. got a little bit of time, Kelly. You don't have to like, you know. Look what I, I've done. This that's pretty good. In what, like, uh, fifteen it, minutes? It looks like it flat spots. The, the, this is the, a prototype, and this is not really the real deal, but it's okay. a little practice. Oh, thing, a little you know? practice yeah. run. Yeah. Okay. Gino, do you want to carve a potato too? Do you, do, <laughs> do you feel like doing that? Is that not, no. Okay. I'd rather I listen to him right. talk and okay, tell cool okay, stories. Okay, yeah. okay. Maybe later we could all get together and carve potatoes together <laughs> after the show. That's looking like a 49 or it's a 48. A, it's looking a little <laughs> small. It's definitely a lopsided 49. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Well, that's what we were riding back in the days, right? Yeah. 40, know, 48, 49s. It's scary when you look at old photos and Man. how small the wheels were. Yeah, speaking yeah. of one-on-one yeah. on one days. With the big pants, too. Yeah, big pants, little wheels. Yeah. Fucking light-ass denim and white shirts. Do you trip out on kids, what they're rocking now, like imitating what's going on back back then? Is that what's going on? I don't, I wouldn't <laughs> even know, honestly. I, I have heard, though, that bigger pants are coming back. Now that I'm wearing tighter pants, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Right? <laughs> me neither, trust me. I just do my own thing. Um, I, I did notice Abe today was wearing some baggy pants. That was really? kind of trippy, right? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. He used to rock baggy pants back in the day too. Yeah. yeah. Swishy like, pants. Swishy pants. Oh, yeah. With the um. Twenty three days. Yeah, yeah, that was tight. I think that's my favorite era of Abe. Did yeah. you ever get rowed rowed up? I never did. No, no, no. Yeah, me neither. A white kid getting ran just to me. I just never. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised. I mean, I had really? gold fronts. I had all the you shit. Had, you had gold fronts, <laughs> had really? All that, yeah, but uh, never like cornrows. Did you get them from like Canal Street or something? Nah, you, Jamaica. Yeah. I got them at the Coliseum that, in Jamaica. Okay, is that like a fake area to fake shit, or is that? Or um, were they real? No, it's not like uh, fake Louis and all that kind of stuff. It's not. Oh, okay. It's um. It's right. like where you go to get like your fronts, or you get like good mixtapes or good sneakers. How much are a pair of fronts? Like the fronts you got? How were they? What, I think what are maybe you like a buck fifty, something like that. Really? I mean, yeah. back then? Yeah, around there, a hundred, hundred twenty, hundred fifty. Something now, like was that. Was it like a dental procedure where they like no? Put it was the so shit? it was How? so ghetto. It was like did they fuck up your teeth at all? I don't know. I didn't even have them long enough to even. <laughs> I wore them once. We went on a Euro trip, and I was I don't know. I was wearing them a little bit. I don't know. I think I got high and left them on my lap, and I was sitting down on the curb, <laughs> and I got up and forgot they were there, or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I think they put like something in your mouth, and you just bite down. They they take a mold take of your teeth. Mold. Okay. And then they just, you know, right. make the fronts. What, what do you want? 14, 18 carat? Like, um, no, really? Yeah. What'd you get? 18? Probably about 14. 14? Cheap ones. It's a little cheaper. Yeah. I, I got so, bottoms, yeah. though, not tops. Okay, tops the bottoms. Is crazy. Yeah. Crazy. yeah. <laughs> the tops bottoms are, is a little, a little more mellow. A little you know? more non. I think I would like take Rolos. You yeah. Know, a little yeah. gold tinfoil mm-hmm. and like put put them on my. That'll work. Yeah, That'll work. Yeah, it works, right? I, I mean, started with one, like a single tooth. Oh, that's weird. I had that in Huntington. Really? Single tooth. Just like wearing like. Like baggy fuck pants and like a gap shirt, right. a black label hat, and a one gold tooth. One gold. Like looking just like a retard. Well? No, it's the top. Front. No, it's no. like the corner. Okay. Gold teeth. I'd love to see you now with that whole kit on. Yeah. Yeah, with the gold with the gold tooth and the. Oh man. Have you know? a flashback. It would be. Uh, they would have to like start up Big Brother again or something. <laughs> Big Brother magazine. What was your favorite moment in skateboarding? My favorite moment. Or t- that's t- a, that's a time a period. One time period like did you enjoy the huntington scene and stuff i mean it's so huntington different was, from new york it's like i yeah you know, it's like i enjoyed it yeah because i was everything was new you uh, know it was like a whole new world okay. and you know you love skating so much you watch videos so much over and over and then you're like actually skating the spots you watch on tv or watch on videos exactly yeah. so every day was was exciting it was great it was yeah. fun you know meeting you know people that you've seen in magazines like at spots it was all new it was, yeah. it was you know we're not used to that shit back east right you know? so yeah like the first days of coming out to california were memorable and really nice really good and also just like back in the day like when we were younger and just skating Long Island, like mm-hmm. before even Manhattan, just like those days, like the fun days. Just the and just got and too that. serious. It's all serious. You know? uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. It's all guys' fault. 
but uh <laughs> yeah he pushed it way too far so the huntington was cool but um yeah. did you skate huntington park at all yeah we used to skate that a little bit i think it was fun man yeah. that was like the only park I, I grew up in orange county too not too far from there and that was the yeah. only park that we ever, we ever went to yeah but that was like if we went there as a kid that's where you only saw pros yeah and that was like the only deal you know what yeah. i mean like you, see ed and you, you would Jeff see ed there yeah. uh reynolds and tom penny was there you're like what the fuck tom yeah Penny's here? i think i was there like before penny and oh, okay like that, those yeah days. it's long that's a while ago huh? but yeah there was no other parks back then yeah. not like you know definitely. that place was like an ashtray it was so small. I didn't really enjoy that park. I like going there to open my trunk and sell product. There you go. Was- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like a lot of dudes did that. So the, it's making more sense to me now why you did the one-on-one thing. Because I thought you were talking about like you were in New York when the black lady. I didn't realize you moved down to Huntington. Yeah. You know, so now it's making more. So when did you move back to New York? Because you didn't stay here uh, for a while, right? Or did you? No, I did. I stayed in New you, York, in California till I was about 28. Oh. And then I moved back to New York. That's right. I remember you were living with like Keenan, right? Yeah. Weren't you in yeah. the, where, where was that? Like downtown area? Or no, like no. Hollywood uh, or something? By like La, La Cienega. La Cienega. Yeah, like the Melrose area. Yeah, that. what was that school that you, we used to, uh, what was that? With the bump to, to flat table? Uh, Lo, Los Feliz. I mean, there, Lockwood. I mean, Lockwood, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there, did you have a favorite school or, that you wanted, like Lockwood or? Lockwood, of course. Lock, what is it, Lockwood? Yeah, Lockwood, yeah. definitely. I mean, yeah. that's, I just love those days when we all would skate there, everybody. Right. And everyone would session the table and Sock would just sit at the table and, you know, whoever got a trick got a trick. Right. And that's right, kind of how right. we filmed and shit like that. It was fun. Man, you had a lot of memorable lines there, man. You yeah. killed that place, dude. <sighs> I couldn't even, Appreciate I don't that. even want to go there anymore. Like Gino fucking, Come on you now. know, he's done everything. No, but you're seriously though. You did. You had some good shit there. I was. Uh, I appreciate. I've that. always been a fan. You know, always. And I, then think I got, every then I got to, skater's been a fan. Of right. Gino. And then I got to meet you and be on the same team and hang out with you. And I mean, I'm sure you felt the same way about me. Of course. You know? so <laughs> of course. It's like. Uh, <laughs> no, of course, for real. No, but we had some good times together, man. And uh, going on all the tours and the hot chocolate tour. Yeah, the month long tour. Wow. Ooh. That was the longest one I ever did. Was it? Yeah. It was It was one of the best ones, though. Yeah, with, yeah, all, with the skits and everything. The, skits, the fireboards yeah. and everything. And, yeah. Uh, you did a sick fireboard. You did a, what? No comply. I died over the no the, comply, yeah. That was dope. It took about 20 takes. I remember that. Like, put the board board out relight it put the board out by the time i did it the board was pretty soft right. just charred yeah but what people don't realize is like those were i mean we were like gorilla style like we were just going out there and filming just whenever in the streets and it, but it was like a production like yeah. you said like l- light the board do the, mess up on the trick light the board again like it was yeah. a whole thing you know it and was you, you felt pressure because you got spike in the camera and you know what i mean like it's a whole thing yeah. you know yeah i think i got mine first try though <laughs> i mean <laughs> it was pretty <laughs> I mean, the schedule, you yeah. know, I mean, with the skating, trying to film throughout the day, exactly. driving, right. going to different spots. And then at night, like it's time to film skits right. and, you know, get everybody amped and like, OK, we're going to light the board again. OK, everybody run behind again. Like, yeah, as much as it was cool looking back, it right. was fucking strenuous at the time. Yeah. Right. Do you, do you like all the attention focused on Eugenio? I or you? It. You do. <laughs> huh? it. You do. Huh? Yeah. Listen, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like you, though. Right. You may not believe this, Roger, but uh, I, I'm very closed door like i don't i'm not i thought you were gonna say like you push like them oh yeah well that too i got the gino push man <laughs> I think I, uh, there's only one person with that too. okay okay <laughs> you're right you're right kelly but no I, i'm very like reserved I, I don't like to be in the center of attention you know i yeah. don't like to it's hard because as a skateboarder you know he's you lying, roll he's lying he no loves no i swear attention. like you roll into a park and like you know you could feel the eyes on you and everything so you you never a fan you don't you don't like that attention i well, i, I mean, guess we, i can honestly say no i mean right. i always hated contests specifically because of that because okay. i'd get on my board and feel like i didn't know how to skate right. because the yeah. intensity of eyeballs and shit mm-hmm. and then um demos sometimes i could get in the zone but like I don't know. That was short lived. Yeah. But I've had a few good demos where I was just like in the zone. I felt dope and I felt good. And it it was a good feeling. The people there and the obstacles. Yeah. Yeah. There's been, I guess, some demos with some shit setups. Um, But it's more, it's, it's not even just, it's not even that. I don't think. I I can't even, I can't even call it. I don't know. You just don't Um, like, uh, some days it's like, it clicks. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I specifically remember a demo that we did for action in Argentina and we, we, gone out so hard the night before that when i got to the demo i like little do i did i know then but i was kind of like uh, how do i say it um 
You're still drunk from the night before? <laughs> Not still drunk, but like my body was almost like uh, in need of alcohol because I was drinking so much, oh, you know? Right. So I was kind of feeling all tweaked out and then it took a minute to kind of adjust and get into it. And then once I got into it, I felt like I was in such a zone yeah. that it felt great and mm -hmm. uh, I was surprised. Oh. So it, like you can't call it, you know right. what I mean? Like, yeah. Right, 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 right. Uh, you brought the action thing. Do you, do you still have your old action shoes? Like I do, yeah. The Islanders and everything I like that? I have like, um, I have a couple of pairs, some sample colors that are like outrageous, but wow. I, I definitely kept a bunch of those. Yeah, That's tight. Yeah. I had a pair. I yeah. had a pair of the blue ones. Okay. They were, they were yeah. tight. Those were some good shoes, I remember. I never skated in them, but I always looked at them like, wow, those were great, man. They were right. I always thought the bubble was weird. It wasn't a bubble. It was plastic. Plastic. Yeah, yeah so um, I kind of didn't get so that. Fake um, bubble. Yeah. That wasn't your first shoe. Sp I mean, who was your first shoe sponsor? I was getting shoes from like Airwalk at one oh, point, okay. Etnies at one point. I think Etnies was the first company I was getting Don shoes Brown from. Don Brown sponsored everyone in this industry. Not me. <laughs> and yeah, so Action was kind of the first legit, legit? Like, team okay. on, yeah. like, you know. Well, it was a great team. You had to, getting uh, paid, like that kind of thing. And, uh, yeah. This guy, guy. Mr. Mariano, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who that else was, was on the team? Uh, was, Kareem, it, was it Kareem? Brian. Who? Brian Anderson. Anderson. Brian Anderson. Yeah, Brian got on. Um, initially, it was me, Guy, and Kareem. Yeah. And then, I don't really know the order, but Brian got on. and uh, mm -hmm. Chris Cole at one time. I honestly don't even remember who was on. Like oh. I remember when Brian got on, I saw an ad, and I was like, who is this guy? Oh, I didn't really? even know who Brian Anderson really? was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I saw the action ad. I didn't even know he was on. Yeah. Not that good at communication back then, huh? Still no, not, I think. That's kinda, all right. Kind of. Yeah. My own little world. That's yeah. good though. I like I like to be in my own little world. Did you ever place well in any contest? No pro con. No, definitely not. I think like the funniest thing was I entered the monster contest, and when it was my turn to go, I had like a line set up, and like I actually landed the first trick down a handrail, a small mm -hmm. handrail. And then like there was a bank, I was gonna just go up and do a switch flip on the bank, and I actually like rode up the bank and flew off the side because I was so nervous, like no. I couldn't go up the oh. straight. I just flew <laughs> off the side, <laughs> and uh, that was like my kind of like that's the way I felt during contests. So I couldn't do it anymore. I hope there's video footage of that. I'd love I'm to see that. That's I'm sure there is somewhere. <laughs> that's amazing. Like the practice, you know, during practice was cool. A bunch of people right. skating the course felt good, but then once it was like you, you know, could win practice, but you couldn't win the contest. I don't know about win, but I could like <laughs> land some shit during practice. Well, yeah. during uh, practice, everybody's skating, right? Yeah. So yeah. And then it's, it's like, it's like a okay, Gino Iannucci, go. Yeah. And you're like, it's like crickets. And, and it's, yeah. to, Right? Like, I've never been a contest guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, fuck a contest. Right, right. I think I got four. And that's what's frustrating. You could probably relate to okay, It's like, yeah. if you tell anyone that doesn't skate, yeah, I skate for a living. They're like, oh, really? So do you enter those contests, like extreme games and this totally. and that? And then you have to go into the whole explanation of like what a pro skater does. Right. And it's like contests are kind of like, you don't even have to enter contests to be... And you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, yeah. It always it's starts. Frustrating. Uh, it, it, to this day, it always still like, starts off with that. I'm more of a yeah. photo and video guy. Well, no, because, and then it's like, well, how do you make a living then? Right, you know, what do you right. do? Just like, all right, and now whatever. it's kind of even harder to explain to people because well, they're like, what do you do? And you're just like, well, I um, post things on Instagram. I, I film yeah. Instagram <laughs> clips, and uh, I there's, just uh, I don't no, know. There's um, no magazine. There's no magazines. Like I mean, yeah, there is magazines. There is, but it's but it's not as relevant as exactly. Exactly. It used yeah. to be like, yeah. okay, uh, you're up for an ad. Go get an ad. Okay, here's your ad. We're working uh, on a video. We're working and... on a video. I mean, there was things going on. Yeah. You know, nowadays it's like, there's a million things going what on. The fuck is there scattered everywhere. Like, yeah. just, it's just hard to explain it though. Like, yeah, what yeah. is going on? Yeah. Yeah. What is? I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah. You know. I fell off like two decades ago. <laughs> well, you don't even have an Instagram or anything, or do you? Do you? No, work I don't. On you know what? Or? I I hooked one up. Okay. Um, it was like when I was in Barcelona, like oh, yeah. a few years ago. Okay, and it lasted like a few days, and I took it off. You were, you or were not, you I just, were... yeah, I was over it. Really? Not over it. I just didn't. I just mm, didn't want to get, get into it. it. You don't lurk on Instagram or anything. Or? I have. Yeah. I have. Well, I'm sure guys have been showing you all kinds of clips and everything, right? Like, uh, not really. Really? God. Nah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> man. Oh, man. Oh, shit, I don't know. But uh, my uh, ex-girl, I actually lurked on hers. Yeah. And I had only like once or twice, and I couldn't do it though. Yeah. Yeah. It was hard. It's I understand. It's cool and weird at the same time. You know. You just like feel like you're violating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it at the same time. <laughs> no, I, I love mm. to see what these people are doing. You yeah. Know? Well, you know what's funny is like when a girl's on Instagram and she's got like all these selfies, you know, and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I'm like, why does she, she has so many selfies? Like, there's something wrong with her, you know. But then when a girl doesn't have selfies at all, I'm like, what's wrong with this chick? Yeah. She doesn't have any <laughs> selfies. <laughs> This is crazy. What she like. yeah, yeah, what does she look like? Okay, so the action footwear, and then what? What happened to action? It just kind of fell out, or 
I don't remember. Uh, like, uh. I, I feel like it just kind of went away one day, right? Did they try to bring it back or something? It was like well, uh, yeah, they I tried w- coming back. They tried coming back. I don't right? know Through what circa. happened politic know? wise. I'm okay. not sure. Um, I got offered to go to Nike, and oh, yeah. personally, I I just remember the shoes that were being put out. I couldn't skate in. Mm. Like it was just physically impossible to skate in them. Really? What do you think of the sports in, shoe? Uh, that was Kareem's. It was like one of the very first Oh, no, that's ones. The, the first, yeah, the red, white, and blue or gray. Yeah, it was like blue, yeah. white, and gray. Surprisingly, I was able to skate in that one. Yeah. But it was a pretty big, stiff shoe. That was a cinder block. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Something was attractive about it at first. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, a good-looking uh, shoe still. Like, people's footage looked rad in that. Like, yeah, yeah. I like Guy's shoe, the first shoe he had, man. That shoe was tight. Yeah, Guy's was good. Yeah. And the first rubber the toe. First rubber toe. <laughs> Actually, SLB. Oh, yeah, the SLB was. <laughs> you guys want to do your own show over there? Is that, uh, get on the, you guys can do button, your own guys. little show over there. Yeah, yeah get on that button. Shoe talk over here. Kelly, yeah. how's that fucking potato coming? I huh? got one yeah. pretty solid one, dude. Does it oh, roll? Oh, look, you've... Uh, Does it okay. roll? I, uh, looking look and warped. Yeah, maybe you should try... Yes. Maybe you should keep trying, Kelly. All right, maybe yeah. I'll, make it, maybe yeah. I'll yeah. smooth this one out, though. Keep, keep going at that. You know? All right. Let's see what happens. Right. But, uh... So the action, so you just remember it just kind of like went away. Oh, you got offered by Nike. Well, I, yeah, I wasn't really skating the shoes. You went from shoes. action to Nike? Yeah. Oh. Didn't Huff hook you up with Nike? Yeah, uh, because... Um, he was the, on Stussy and Rob Jeffers. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Rob Jeffers oh. was the TM for Stussy, right? Yeah, I think and so. And then he was going to be this, he was a team manager for Nike. Oh, wow, okay. And he had to set up the team and Huff uh, related, you know, a message to him that I'd be interested and right. that was it. And so you were one of the like kind of the original people on Nike, right? Yeah. It was four of us, me, Richard, Reese and uh Supa. When Huff go to Nike? Cuz he was I think with DC back then. Was he? What? Yeah. Oh. He was part of the team. Okay. Remember they used to wear like jerseys and do demos That's and stuff. That's right. Yeah, they used to wear. <laughs> <laughs> they were, they were DC Euro Super Tour, yeah. dude. Yeah, that shit was tight. <laughs> when did you get on Nike? How long? How long? Two thousand two or three. Two thousand two. Okay. Yeah. How did you make the jump from uh, girl to? I mean, from. It was um, never on girl. You were never on girl. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Come on, Chris. How do you know? Listen, I flub, I flub my lines and these guys. <laughs> I flub my words and these guys jump all over me. Jesus Christ. When did you I'm get on chocolate? <laughs> oh, this is why I don't do interviews. Yeah. I don't fucking remember. Chocolate well, I was tour? in the chocolate tour, um, which is right behind you right there. I was in that one. Okay. But I had just had a little part in Daniel Castillo's part. I was like, had a, I was after him. 5 like, like, front shove at heel. That, that was, was yeah, Santa Monica. That was, yeah, right. That was, yeah, right? You did yeah. Nolly Vero flip over the block. In the ah, line. Nolly Vero flip over the block at, in that one. At the Santa Monica ledges, yeah. Yes, okay, I remember yeah. that. It was a great trick, let me tell you. That was one of the first Nolly Vero flips that I saw that over something. It was great. That's yeah. an extremely yeah. awkward sounding trick, especially over something like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 I did it I did it amazing. Though. <laughs> <laughs> but amazing. you didn't know his grand pop out before, like yeah, super yeah, good. I did too. it in a line. It was, it yeah. was groundbreaking at the time. Groundbreaking. Yeah. And then I did a tray flip afterwards. You did. On All flat right. ground. Hey, were you wearing <laughs> you were D, wearing DVSs? Like, were you wearing the oh, Sheffies? I, wearing DV, or? I, I think I was wearing DVS Sheffies. Yeah. Yeah. And shorts. This is great. Okay, so listen. Then after that. I uh, I was in a video. Uh, no, I think it was just hot chocolate tour. After that, I think it was uh, after that the hot chocolate tour. So you came to do like the fake demo with yeah. Spike and everything. No, you didn't. You no, there? I wasn't you involved the with that. Uh, but right. I that was around the time I was getting on because they were kind of like featuring me. They in took a couple your sponsor tape and put it in the van. Yeah, and so uh, no, that was Robin McKinley. Oh. I just had a part after Daniel's uh, part. But uh, yeah, so I don't know what year that was. Um, but yeah, just around so around that time I got on. Okay. What, what, what year is that made, uh, Raj? Can you can you check? Oh. Four? Originally released in 1999. Oh, wow, five years off. So yeah, I got on around 2000 ish, I'd say. Okay. You know, because then the Hot Chocolate Tour was like 2003, 2004. So like 99, 2000. Yeah. All right. Right. What is, so what, you're what's going it, what's on. You're going 17? on 16 years. Yeah. Then. Yeah. 17, you're creeping 17. on my. Uh, right. On my length. Man. All right. We're kind of showing our age here at the Nine Club. <laughs> Proud of that. 16 you know, years. Right, 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 right. <clears throat> so, but now um, you're on F.A., 
Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, le- like leaving chocolate, you know, after after so many years. Yeah. You know, how how was that? Was it hard, or was it a uh, was yeah. it just something that you wanted to do and do something new, or like what? Just need a change. Change the scenery. Uh, yeah. How can I say it? I just felt like I loved what they were doing. I loved the guys on the team, and I just felt compelled to kind of just. I don't know. I just gravitated towards them, and okay. I had no ill will or hard feelings towards Chocolate and Girl, right. and um, I just had been there for a long time, and yeah. I just felt like stale. Like yeah. I don't know, okay. you know. Yeah. And not that it's really been that big of a difference, but I just love what FA is doing, you know. Yeah, it's it's, it's cool. It's yeah. refreshing to skateboarding and shit. That's and, rad. Yeah. 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 No, that's cool. I think I think. Well, I was bummed that you. You know, everybody on yeah, Chocolate it was, was bummed, difficult, but, man. but but uh, at the same time, like we respect. The yeah. decisions that people make. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like if, uh, you know, if somebody wants to go and do something new, like what are you going to do? You know, you can't stop them. Yeah. Can't stop them. You know, anyways. wish them good luck. And, yeah. uh, you know, we're still boys, you know, of course, kind of, I mean, uh, when you came in the door, I was a little, uh, <laughs> I didn't know what to, to hug you or the like lingering <laughs> static between us. <laughs> yeah, you know? No, but, uh, that's rad though. So, uh, so everything's good over at FA. I mean, you, yeah, uh, everything's great. Good things, good things to come, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sick. yeah we'll see. So that, that leads me to a question. I mean, you know, being out in long Island, you mm-hmm. know, and then being, you know, skating for a company out here like chocolate or FA, I mean, do you ever feel detached? Of course. Being so far away? Yeah. You know? I mean, it's not like I went into it assuming I'd be like all attached. You know what I mean? Like right. the young guys are the young guys. They're doing their own thing. Of course. They're, right. I'm not just, I'm not going to be hopping in on the scene with those dudes. It's like, I'm still going to do my own thing. Mm-hmm. It's just, I'm, um, you know, riding an FA boy, representing an FA. And, right. and, right. uh, right. Right. But yeah, there's like certain things. Like if I'm in New York and I miss like a team photo or something, then I feel like fuck and you know right. detached for sure. With Photoshop, they can do anything nowadays. Well, I mean, you know? I wish it was easy as just like doing an outline of myself with yeah. not, me not having to be there like Chocolate did. You know? That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. That was pretty awesome. That was that great, was nice. dude. I remember that ad. That was amazing. Right? I was yeah. like, fuck yeah, I didn't have to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> How great is that? The guy's first right? ad and he's not even in it. Yeah. yeah. You know? That was cool. That was, that was a, cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that's, that's, the, uh, that's a memorable it's Like Predator ad. 1. How many predators do they do? Two. Like, too many. It's horrible. Yeah. Danny Glover in New York. It was Number horrible. Two. Oh, was it in? <laughs> oh God. We should just always do one. You know, end it. Just end it. Hey. Um, but that was a great ad. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. That was great. Welcome to the team. It was like an existing photo. I don't know if they use it or something, okay. and then they yeah. just like kind of separate it. Separate the dudes. Like, yeah. Turn you in there. So then, uh, so that was the first video that you were in with Chocolate, right? The Chocolate Tour. Um. Maybe some tour videos or something. Yeah, or, I yeah? think so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What was before that? I don't know. I think that was the first video they did. No, no. you know what? Mouse oh, was the first video. Mouse. Yeah. Well, that, the was fir- a, that was a girl video. Oh, the first. Ch- no, it's Paco. Was oh, the first. Paco, yeah. Paco. But no, yeah. that Paco. I had a clip in Kanan's part, and I still wrote for 101. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which mm. clip did you have in his part? Courthouse. Yeah. The switch flip tail. Speaking of the courthouse. Wow. <laughs> you know a switch flip. <laughs> yeah. Switch flip, switch flip. Wait, 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 wait. Don't let him guess. Does he know? Does what? he know knows, man? He knows all about my whole career, bro. Why? You What'd know? you do? Switch flip, switch Manny, you know? I heard that that gets brought up a lot on this show. Yeah. Well, <laughs> can you blame me? I mean, no, you know? No, very true, very true. Very uh, groundbreaking trick at the time. At the time. It was yes. a groundbreaking part. Like, you, right. you pretty much... Yeah. He shut down the courthouse. I he mean, shut down the courthouse, you know, yeah. yeah. That's right, that's right. I mean, you People, had some, like, manual, like... It was slide a, nose yeah, manual. Exa- yeah, I, I always exactly. say like the other yeah. tricks he did were crazier than the switch flip manual, but the switch manual to sh- like power slide a nose manual. Switch uh, front side three sixty shove it. Right. Yeah. What right. was that? A switch manual. Switch so that, manual. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, pretty. Yeah. That was pretty insane. I yeah. love this. So the problem <laughs> is, is like. <laughs> These fucking guys are making no. fun of me on my own show. I always wanted to do this, this like I'm an artist or something, like a <laughs> music artist, like. But. Well, no, speaking no, of No, but I'd love to see, what would be amazing would be to see me try a switch flip up that oh, stage and just. We'll both try it together to because now I can't even fucking. <laughs> I saw get Chris try it the other my, day. I can't even get halfway up there. No, that, that was insane. The board, was insane. board hit the wall. The board hit the wall and Chris just kind of jumped up on the, on the ledge everything. and that was it. And you know who else fucked it up with that one. Um, Fakey shove it flip, Brad Hayes. Brad Hayes, oh, yeah. I, I always Brad Hayes yeah. was yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah. Awesome. You know, yeah. he was. He uh, actually, I skated with a lot when I first moved to Huntington. Oh, did he you? Was friends with Jason, we always just skate. Wow. The first time I went to L.A. downtown, I skated like First Interstate. Was it called? Okay. Was that the spot? In like blind video days and shit, guy and was like it the little rails that, and stuff. Yeah, First Interstate. Yeah. 
Yeah, the bird, yeah, yeah, we skated there. Yeah. I remember with wow. uh, Brad and Jason and Brad Hayes is tight, man. Brad Hayes was amazing. Yeah. I, I got a lot of my manual inspiration literally just from him. Me too. Yeah. Fakie show, fakie manuals. Yep, the yep. fakie very awful fakie manuals. Really clean. Yeah. You ever skate the courthouse now? That now that you're living. I skated kind of? it once since they uh, since Nike hooked it up. Yeah. What do you think? You like it? Or I the like ledges, the old courthouse. Or, yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Um, I liked the sound of the ledge. I like how yeah, crunchy like it was and. It's cool though. You it's nice. It's fun to skate. Yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> FA just came out with a not as tribute graphic for you, mm-hmm. and you guys got a, a cease and desist for that. Yeah. It was your one-on-one Gino reissue, right? Yeah. 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 The same thing, but just yeah, in. So like, then, Dwindle uh, probably. Photocopy. Dwindle probably uh, put a cease and desist on. Sits on it. I uh, I really don't know. I asked Jason, but um, I don't remember who it was. It was someone obviously that was down with the original graphic or did the original graphic, and mm-hmm. I'm sure it was just a matter of not him, like him not being um, asked or something right, like that. Right, if right. I had to guess. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Mm. But uh, that makes it even more special. Fuck it. Yeah. There's only a few released, and whoever got them, got them. And, Can you uh, get me one? I don't even so, know. I don't even think I have one. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Do, do you collect all your old boards? Do, is that a I thing tried, you do? Or, really? Yeah, I tried, but I gave up after, like, you know, the series board started coming out. Yeah, and, right, right. And, you know, as much as the artists That's are amazing much. and shit, right. I mean, the ones that I kind of, I, you know, pretty much did the graphics or gave the idea for the graphics. Mm-hmm. Those are the ones I kept mm. and are more special to me. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? I like my adoption board from Chocolate. I, You know, I yeah. was just down there and I saw that board. Mm-hmm. They were pulling old boards out for some show they were doing and I saw that adoption board. Yeah. That was amazing. You've seen Keenan's adoption board, right? Yeah, Keenan. Yeah. They had the same exact one. Right. But he was being adopted into the family okay. and then when I got on, they did the same exact graphic but wow. I was being adopted and then Keenan was inside the, the room like playing with a toy. Wow. So Wow. That's why it's extremely. I, see, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's so special. So nowadays, oh, you don't. Yeah. Do you watch skate videos? Do you do? No. I mean, what do you? Uh, do you, you pop in? Well, nobody pop watches in? videos anymore. I don't. Right? You no, just I watch don't. parts. I do. It's, I just I watch Instagram clips. No, you know, all I'm right, a, whoever I'm following or whatever. You know what I mean? Like my friends. Yeah. My friends. Yeah. You don't watch uh, nothing really. No. Let's just say this. Like okay. the last parts that I watched. Yeah. Were. From the pretty sweet video. Oh wow! Well. I watched like uh, Sean Malto's part. Okay. I watched Mike Moe's part. Sick. Um, yep. Corey's part. I mean, I've been watching Dylan on like heavy rotation lately. Yeah. Just yeah. like. I think a lot of us have. Yeah. 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 I mean, under the circumstances, but yeah. um, rest in peace for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, his parts are really inspiring. Uh, Austin Gillette is that his name? Mm-hmm. Austin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I watched a part of his recently. It was fucking amazing. Just watching like. Uh, these guys from the Pretty Sweet video. Because I watched the video at the premiere, and yeah. then I didn't watch anything really from that video for a long time. Mm-hmm. And then I just started going back over it. And it's fucking just some like incredible, amazing skating in that. Do you ever pop in one of your, your video parts and watch it? I Is have there... in the past. Yeah? Yeah. Just okay. to, like you remind the, myself the that I skate. Promo? What's that? The crummy promo? Uh, I haven't seen that in a minute. What's no. a crummy promo? Did I miss this one? What is this? It's like his first part. Yeah, really? Black Label. Black, yeah. black Label? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to YouTube that. But so nowadays, like that, that kind of stuff will get you uh, hyped to get on the board. and uh, Yeah, I've been watching a lot of video parts lately uh, or like Bill's videos, you know, with the FA kids, guys. Yeah, and um, All yeah. Supreme videos, whatever else. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. They're, they're amazing. I mean, I watch a lot of different shit, man. I watch like that Jocelyn kid, his Plan B part. It was fucking right. like, had me nervous watching it. It was insane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> Um, you know, watching his parts, I got to take a ice bath after I watch his parts. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Some salt hurt. and everything. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm hurting after I watch that shit. Oh, my God. I and mean, he did like uh, a backside 360 kickflip down like 15 stairs or something. It's so amazing. It was so <laughs> I would just love to like know how that feels. I know. To be flying right? in the air like that. Just like, they, the kids, <laughs> they love to fly. Yeah. These fucking kids. You, you know? just have to have balls, I think. Like, yeah. Not that I'm, I'm taking anything away from the kid. Right. But, yeah. I mean, you have to like kind of be doing that shit often to have that like that mentality to like and you used to, you used to jump down some stuff back in the day I used to think I went big but yeah. fuck compared to nowadays like, but yeah I used, to, I used to like, skate go, stairs like, a lot and Gons stuff. Gap and like oh, yeah. the double set at Imperial like oh, the yeah, Imperial yeah. Right. you've definitely jumped oh the, the double set in Century City yeah. too yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Imperial yeah. that's yeah. Imperial yeah. yeah no 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 the Imperial was oh wait Century City yeah 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 that Which one, one did you big, do down actually. Imperial? Switch flip? Switch flip. Switch flip. Yeah. And you know what? I was pissed off. I backside flipped it. Um, I think dudes were filming for like a Spitfire video or something. Oh, I remember okay. like, I think 
like Thebo was around and and I was with like Jason maybe and a bunch of heads and I think I backside flipped it like first try or second try and then like the tape we were downtown and someone broke into the car and stole oh. the camera bag yeah. Yeah. so yeah there's a there's a phantom backside flip somewhere wow. I always like that footage of you in Rome was it in Rome? It's oh, Nolly back heel, heel. Yeah. down the little, gu- yeah. the little uh, stairs and sidewalk. And yeah. I believe they now call it the, the Gino's Gap. Mm. They renamed it the Gino Gap. According to Federico, yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. right. Switch pops of it, Nolly back heel? Yeah. yeah. You, you, you always made switch pops of it. It's so great. You know what I mean? Every try. Every try. I, 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 I mean, yeah. I mean, that's true. That's true. I but always, not everybody can make yeah. a switch pop shove it. Look good. You I know? seen Guy do one in the park today. Looks guy, good. okay. Stevie <laughs> Williams. Oh, yeah. yeah. Switch pop shove. Yeah, yeah. he, you know he I mean? like popped the board as tall as right. he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it right. just come down under his feet yeah. somehow. Yeah. Another trick that I thought you did that was cool was varial flips. Like, no uh, one really did varial flips too much. Yeah. And I, you, know, you kind of did them sporadically, and I thought that was really cool. You yeah. think you very hooked over that? Uh, I thought that they well. were popular. I mean, when I was a kid, people were like, "No, that's the stupidest trick ever." Yeah, I was like, no, I, I, I think that, it depends how you do it." Yeah, yeah. It, you know, like, right? That's a trick, like that, any trick, right? Yeah, yeah but that, yeah. yeah, but I think that that's still that's still a trick that's like not a lot of people made him look good. You know, it was yeah. like you, Brian Anderson, and me over the of the of the block at the beach. You know, <laughs> that I mean, one maybe, time. But that I one think, time. but you guys were my inspiration. It all ties together. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. No, but it, well, you know, that, you no, no. Chico used to fuck with the uh, shove it flips, right? Not, yeah, yeah. I, you said shove it kick flip. Like you don't call it varial flip. You, you say shove it kick flip. Shove or, it flip. Well, yeah, you, you know if <laughs> like for, what do you mean? Yeah. Varial, you, you need to grab your board. Is that right? Yeah, a varial is a grab. Why the fuck have I been calling varial flip my whole life? Body varial. What about, what's that? You know. I don't do that shit. I have no idea. Do you do any grabs, Gino? You Are know you what? Ready, I was know? thinking about that today, Real. skating the park. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I haven't. I, it'd be you nice to grab melon? the board. It feels sick. What's that? You haven't done a melon in a while. No, no, I haven't grabbed the board. In, like fuck, since launch ramp days or something. Really? Yeah, because I think I was watching. I seen like Reynolds do a ill kickflip backside grab over like a street gap or like a uh, grass gap. Yeah. I was like, damn, yeah, grabs look sick. Dylan, again, impossible tail slap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ed Templeton style. Yeah, must feel good. Yeah, well, grab your board, man. I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, grab's going to be hot in 2017. I you think. know what I mean? Like, yeah. you could already just start yeah, it off. Yeah. Yeah. The trend's about to start. Well, just, hey, listen, um, we were talking about the Instagram thing, right? You said you, you tried it for a couple of days. And, and you, any any chance you'll get on Instagram or social media and post? Gino's been hanging out with me. I'm going to have his ass on Instagram. <laughs> there for, you go. For yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's either going to be a back lip, a back tail, or a front nose. I feel like I'm getting bombarded with this question here. It's getting uncomfortable. <laughs> and my, you know. we'll, we'll start off with a Twitter, you know. We'll get you a I Twitter. feel like that's, that's even like, worse. That's even worse, dude. That's way worse. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's worse. Yeah. I, don't, so I had a like, blog. I had a shop once. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, poets. poets. Yes. Yeah. And I had a blog for the shop. Okay. And it was like fucking addicting. Every day I had to find something about Long Island to put on the blog. And it's just. Really? It was fun for a while, but mm-hmm. then it became like, okay, I got to put something on today. And if I didn't, I felt like something was slipping. It or, became like a. a and job, I can imagine Instagram like being 10 times worse. So you're just trying to like drop in some sort of like knowledge about Long Island? Yeah, stuff that would interest me as well. That's right. stuff that I didn't know about and, and you know what it's Long Island yeah. I read Long Island so so you kind of got addicted to it but then you kind of got yeah. over it because you feel, felt like it was like a chore a little bit a little bit right? yeah how did the poets do you guys ever had that shop open for a couple years maybe or yeah you didn't opened, do too well yeah, no it didn't do well for a while and you opened yeah. it again right yeah I had it open back uh, in like um maybe like early 2000s okay and it lasted a few years and I moved back to LA closed up and it, whatever I just didn't want to do it anymore right. and then um we opened up again in about 2007. Same last, spot? No, different location, oh, different same name okay. and whatever. Uh, small skate shop. Mm-hmm. And it was, uh, I don't know, you have to be into owning a shop and put all, your all into it. And if you right. do, you know, I'm not, who's to say who could be successful or not? But right. we didn't, I didn't, personally, I didn't want to do a shop. I yeah. just kind of threw it out there. I didn't really know what was going on at the time. And, did you um, have like friends run it for you? No, I was there. Me and a friend of mine, we uh, ran the shop hmm. and... Um, and I wasn't really skating be- like when I opened up and then uh, I got back on the board with skating a lot and then I just kind of closed it up. It was kind of draining our pockets and stuff right, so uh, right. to keep the doors open. And, Plus full-time job. And like businessman, right? I am not. No, so, no. Uh, Wait, How'd you guys come up with the name? Where'd the name come Poets from? Poets is uh, the neighborhood I grew up in in Long Island in Westbury. It's called Poets Corner. Uh, so yeah, that's where it comes from. Dope. Yeah, and close I was to like home. The name. Close right to home. Name, yeah. yeah, maybe it'll pop up in the future. Name. Yeah, maybe on... Uh, 
Abby Fairfax over, over here. No, maybe nah. like Fairfax, oh, yeah. huh? Yeah. <laughs> Ranks the Diamond Store and Supreme. Yeah. yeah. Poets Fairfax. You right. know? How does that sound? I don't know, man. It sounds pretty good it to me. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if I could have a line down the block, just like the other Guy guys on Fairfax, there. maybe. You could, yeah. You know? I, I know Kelly and a few people would just line up just to see you push. <laughs> you know, Gino? Does that make you feel weird if people say something like, oh, I'd rather watch Gino push than someone do that trick? A little bit. I respect this fucking cool. I hear, I do hear people say that. You came and you, you pushed in the premiere. They showed the clip and it got the loudest. Oh, there. I was yeah. there. Wait, 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 wait. I was wait, at wait, that wait, premiere. Wait, wait. Wait, nothing what, but the truth. What happened? You had some clips in Brian's part, Brian Anderson. Okay. And his yeah. first clip is him running and throwing down and pushing and the whole crowd just went nuts were you there i wasn't there you weren't you weren't there no Uh, it was so sick it was just so cool to see that being like everyone literally stood up wow it was like yeah no that is very amazing to hear special and shit like you know to hear that is fucking is there someone that you like like that guy's gonna ride push like do you have a favorite push such a like weird, for me, such like, a weird question. It's a weird question. Like, it you know? for no, me, but like, are... it's, it's it's Gino and Robbie and Jimmy for me. Oh, you know, like yeah, to see they... those guys fucking push they, the way they throw the shoulder into it. Mm-hmm. You know and. Awesome. Maybe that's the hockey Whoa. player in me or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Again, Jimmy, I don't know if he plays hockey, but um, he probably did. That's a hard question. I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Speaking of hockey, you're 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 you play tennis, and hockey. Right. I used to play hockey. Okay, I used to play hockey. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, rollerblades or ice? No skates? ice. Okay. Ice. Yeah. <laughs> no, no rollerblades too. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. You get a rollerblades yeah. began because it was a hockey thing. It wasn't right. a fucking fruit of boot course. thing. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 So yeah. I remember like getting the first pair of rollerblades that were made. You okay. Know? It was yeah. Rollerblade, the brand. Right. They were you know? right. And they were for they were made hockey. for street, street hockey. hockey. Yeah. yeah. Street yeah. You shut down your street and be like, car. I mean, cars used to like drive up and slow down and be like what the hell are those what? <laughs> like, they're like ice skates but you know for the street yeah, yeah. So. but I mean like hockey's a tough fucking sport it I mean is, you gotta yeah. fucking check it's people rough, and dude. it's rough yeah. right. it's rough and I played when I was young I played up until they call it Bantam and that's like that? maybe 15 years old something okay. like that oh and like young kids yeah Bantam. yeah okay. but like at that age some kids are hitting puberty and they're getting fucking big so some kids would be like six feet tall especially on skates yeah and i was five three till i was 17 five three so i was like the little guy but i could go between it like all the dudes right but you were uh, fast but it was intimidating playing yeah p- playing big dudes when like and then checking started in peewees which was before Bantams. So, you know, as checking, a kid... Checking started in Pee Wee? Yeah. Before, really? Yeah, like 13, something like they that. They teach you how to really fuck yeah, somebody up, yeah. huh? When you're 13, <laughs> that's fucking great. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's fun. Did you ever get hurt, knock teeth out, or, I mean, what'd you, a what did you... little bit, your, not, no like, teeth. No, we had no. full facial. Were you fighting in, in Pee Wee? Were you nah, throwing they didn't the gloves down? And, no? Like, you can get into it, but they'd, right, they'd break, break it up, up. real okay, quick. Okay, yeah. right. Okay, world champion hockey is, is on, right? World champ, the best of the two teams, right? It's on, or... The best tennis players playing tennis. Would you? Mm. Would you have to do a Nowadays, picture in picture? Tennis, would tennis. you tennis? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Who but, you? What? What? What's? What's a fascinating? What, what? What's up with tennis? Why do you like? Uh, what? what it, what's the uh, attraction? Oh, and the because mm. you play too. You play tennis. Yeah. So what? Uh, like, how do you? I like tennis. I just can't serve. Serving's the hardest part. You got to throw yeah. the ball up and whack. Mm. You know, <laughs> it's hard. Let me tell you. But if, um, if there's a rally going, I feel like I'm love thinking, a good rally. I'm like thinking a lot, so I'm not okay. realizing how you sound and you sound. Um, I can't tell if you're like being sarcastic. Or, <laughs> no, I. <laughs> but it, no, I. It's true though. It's, it's truly so like, interesting. Throw, in this. Like it's, what's difficult is that you have to throw the ball up and then hit it. Like, it's, <laughs> no, but listen. It's true though, it's that something. Is the hardest part. There's something about one on one. Yeah. Like when you, because I I love I love playing tennis even before I really knew how to hit the ball. So. Okay, right. Uh, but when you know, like a- after a while of playing and you know how to hit the ball and shit, it's just pretty amazing mm-hmm. the different types of shots you can hit, the right. strategy and moving the person around. And mm-hmm. I don't know, dude. And then watching the professionals play, especially nowadays, they're insane. That, like the power and it's you know, the technology with the right. rackets and Even shit. Even the women. The yeah. women are I like mean, beasts yeah. out there too. You know? Some of them are, yeah. But this... this uh, Kornikova. Kornikova. You know, I had a little crush on Kornikova. What's the other one there? Kornikova or Killer? Sharapova. Sharapova? Yeah. Mm. Kornikova, though, was like the highest paid um, female tennis player, but never won a tournament. She wasn't that good, right? She was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So she had all like the modeling gigs and all that kind of stuff. She was a little teacher of... uh... Yeah. Well, come on. (laughs) Let's teach the rips, dude. You see her fucking... 
Battle Commander? I did. It was nice. good. Did you watch it? What was it? Letitia's Battle Commander on the barracks. No. Uh, you know who Letitia uh, is? I do. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, okay. But no, I like tennis. You know, you know what's funny? My dad, he's like 80-something years old, mm-hmm. plays tennis with his buddies like two, three times a week. Yeah. Loves it. Yeah. yeah. And it's like keeping him moving, you know? Yeah. It's like he's, he's not just sitting on the couch. Yeah. Like just retired guy, mm-hmm. you know, he's out there. He loves with his buddy. They go have coffee afterwards. It's mm-hmm. a whole thing, you know. I don't yeah. think they move around a lot out yeah. there. But well, check this out. I, yeah. I spent a lot of time in Florida over the past like five years. Okay. And I um, would go to this one tennis spot in my city or town or whatever you call it. And um, it was the only one there. Okay. And it was all like senior citizens that played pretty much for the most part. Mm-hmm. And like I would play doubles with them and uh and like you b- basically had to hit the ball to them. To you know, they didn't right. move too well. Yeah, like you yeah, said. yeah, yeah. But I did get in touch with this guy. The guys were like, "Oh yeah, you know, you're looking to play, you're looking for some, you know, uh someone to play with or yeah. hit with or whatever." So they recommended this one dude. He was this black guy from Chicago who would okay. spend the winters in Florida and uh his name was Doc. And uh I met him at the spot and then we ended up uh, chatting and he was kind of in, in pretty good shape mm-hmm. and we'd get together and we'd play matches and he would beat my ass and he was like 70. Wow. I think he was 70. Really? Yeah. He was so good. And um, oh. at, you know, half the time I'm trying to, I guess, not go too hard, but then he'd end up beating my ass. So I'd go hard. Right. But, but he was great. I mean, he could move. He was fucking, yeah. you know, um, I think I beat him like once maybe really and we played a lot yeah wow so that was inspiring you know 70 years old yeah. i mean you, you know i was right. running him around and he was good yeah he was right. running me around so well, maybe you and my dad can play you can get maybe. together and yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean you know i think you but know he doesn't move too well no he moves around he but he okay. says he plays with guys that uh just you know stand there yeah they don't really do much okay so he needs needs someone like me yeah right but uh yeah maybe you could get uh maybe you could play doubles with all of them you know you go have coffee and uh you know you can hang out with my pops is he on the west coast yeah in malibu okay Okay. they go out to like pepperdine and stuff play tennis that sounds (laughs) prestigious yeah okay Okay, so kelly i'm actually just this is great i'm listening and making it i know so we're running out of time i think i did my best one i think i did it you did it how does it roll why don't you bring roll why don't you bring that wheel over here oh you want to do it over there well, bring it. Yeah, of course, bro. We we have to judge it. Gino Iannucci is going to judge your potato wheel. That's fucking, okay. How do you feel you, about you that? You put that on me? The last gonna, one yeah. is looking good, actually. It's, it's kind of big. How many but did you I do? Sh- I did Portion four. Wise. Okay. Well, bring bring one. We- bring bring the wheels and the potatoes over here yeah. so we could judge. Do you mind, Gino? Do you mind being a judge? No, not at all. We got to, you know. <laughs> okay. In the wheat berry challenge. This is straight off the press right here. No. That is a fucking huge. Let me see it's that. It's kind of big, actually. Okay. No, no. He let him go back to it. He, we have to judge. We have to judge the wheel. This looks pretty. It's, it's to go with these ones. Right. Um, these ones roll pretty damn good. This is pretty. That one has flat spots. That one's not this bad. This is not bad. Yeah. It's actually a little smaller. Yeah. This one is fucked up. Gino, I don't know if you want to touch those these things. I think you just need to work on this one a little bit. Yeah, more. I wasn't completely done, but like. Okay. Well, I like the know. sidewalls of this guy. The sidewalls are good, right? Yeah. It's just a little small. Very. But uh, well, we'll see. Let's this has got early '90s written all over it. Well, if you're if you're trying to sell this to a kid, yeah, they're gonna be like, which, no, the might, fucking, uh, which one would you which one would you want to put in there? Uh, let's see. Sorry, Gino. This is just uh, that one probably is the best. Keep so we'll get rid of these bullshit wheels. Okay. So there's your set, Kelly, and uh, good luck selling them. We'll you'll report back. In, you'll report back to next us. next episode. Yeah, you'll report back to us, and we'll see how you did. So okay. wait, when is it decided if he has to eat a Cinnabon? If he can sell the if wheels. If he can sell it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, I know you got to go. But uh, hey, dude, thanks for coming by. Fucking My pleasure. Thank you, Gino. Hey, come back anytime. You know, yeah. we'd love to have you back on the show if you want to take over Kelly's button for a night, you know. Oh, Gino could, uh, is welcome all right. to kick it here all he wants, dog. Yeah, <laughs> you know. When guy comes, you can oh, just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. There you go. All right, I could spit out a couple of questions or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure, for sure. <laughs> Speaking of guy right now, have yeah. you guys seen the L.A. Boys documentary? It's amazing. Did you catch like a... Did you shed a tear? Yeah, I actually did. Seriously. Really? It was emotional. Did you shed a, you shed a tear too? I got emo. I like really? choked up a little bit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, guy's got something. What, what do you got, guy? Yeah. I was really like tripped out when Gino came in and, you know, he said I got a little choked up and he like really loved the piece because I gassed it all up. I'm like, Gino, it's like one of the most special pieces ever done. Like holds a really special place in my heart. Like they did it justice. You got to check it out. And I sent it to him. That's not gas. 
no, well, whatever. <laughs> um, God, and get down, then I got really get nervous Michael because Gino is like the coolest dude. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. shit, he's going to think it sucks. And like, you know, Gino doesn't, you don't hold back. You know what I mean? And then the next day when he like said all that positive stuff, it really, it meant a lot to me. And I knew that like, you know, no matter what generation you're from, like it, it really probably touched him to like, you know, him and some of his friends like growing up skating. Did it affect you that way, Gino? Back then? Completely. Back yeah. then? Yeah. And I got choked up. Not because it reminded me of like me skating around Long Island with my crew of guys from Long Island or, or even though those are really extremely special moments. Right. But because it's a special moment, me remembering when that video came out and how right. that part affected me as a skater. And, um, and it was just amazing also to know that somebody was smart enough to like pinpoint, you know, these group of guys and make a documentary out of that little part in the yeah. PAL video. You know, it was um, very thoughtful. Yeah. Yeah. They they definitely influenced street skating. Yeah. In a major way. I mean. Unknowingly. What was it called? The chainsaw? <laughs> I mean, shit. I mean, I'm sure we all did that. Every yeah. every single kid that yeah. watched that video was doing the chainsaw after that. Yeah. So what's the chainsaw? It was uh, Paulo. Like when you go fake, you do like a gazelle kind of like step off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That was a special part for sure. The bomb drops on the handrails. I mean, dude, Gabriel's hurricane on the rail. Yeah. It was incredible. I mean, looking at it now, you kind of, we kind of can respect or, or appreciate some of the stuff that was done that actually back then you didn't like, you know, you kind of overlooked maybe. Yeah, totally. Yeah, like the hurricane, like you just yeah. said. You know, I was more like, I was looking at like the bomb drops down that huge set of stairs, that handrail. One thing that blew me away was um, you guys were skating uh, Bank of America off of, uh, what the hell street is it? Vermont. Uh, Vermont, mm-hmm. yeah. And you did that, like, you hit, hit the rail, whatever, and then like you just did a line around the parking lot. I was like, this is the best thing in this whole fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze in like 15 flat tricks it was after it. <laughs> yeah. Boom, 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 boom. It was sick. Well, you know what, guy? You're going to have to come on the show. Yeah. Okay. That, that's just that's just pretty yeah, much it. Yeah. We're calling you out to come on the show. We're on the show. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It'll happen. All but, right. uh, dude, you're the man, Gino. Thank you. Love you, you're brother. You're the man. Um, and, uh,. Good to see yeah. you both. Yeah, Always, well. dude. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to get up and uh, skate or something while you're we will. here. Or uh, stoner. Oh, yeah, sure. Stoner, yeah. yeah. Or fuck it, we'll go to the courthouse. There you go. Okay. Those <laughs> <shit I just> <laughs> <laughs> that was a no, but yeah. uh, he was just being polite. Yeah. signed a four-year contract with the pro shoe with circa with circa really a month i was in europe for like two months Mm -hmm. and then when i came back they were like oh yeah we're gonna void your contract we never signed the contract we're voiding it because they heard rumors that stevie was gonna do dgk footwear through audio footwear how does it feel sitting over here at the big boy table huh you sat over here once before feeling good over here it feels like the you know i feel like this is the first time the first yeah we all all were together you know right right but now i have this button still what what age were you when you when you got from the the kids table to the 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 big table for christmas dinner was it did you do you remember Uh, what what age like maybe like 30 30 30 30 (laughs) yeah that's good okay